High five. Bringing you the weird and wild from the world of MMA each and every weeknight. Welcome to Midnight Mania. Conor McGregor is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, and while he cannot keep up with Canelo's $365 million contract, the Irishman is compensated quite nicely for his talents and fame. Plus, his exploration into the whiskey business with proper the 12th of May just land him billionaire status in the long run. Notorious, has also never been shy about spending money on luxury goods to enhance his look. Nowadays, any fighter who enters media day with a custom-fitted suit may face accusations of copying McGregor. Still, McGregor is balling out especially hard ahead of his return to action against Dustin Poirier next weekend, Sat. Jan. 23, 2021, at UFC 257 on Fight Island, in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Check out his latest suit, Rolls Royce, and new watch in McGregor's recent post, What's That Snow Globe on McGregor's Wrist? For those far too poor, like me, to be knowledgeable about the world of elite wristwear, that's the Astronomia Torbillion Baguette in rose gold. I don't understand a word of the watch speak below, but it's still a damn impressive piece of machinery and craftsmanship. For some searching, the rough value of that watch is $1 million. Of course, a post and tag from McGregor ahead of a big fight that generates publicity is plenty valuable in its own right, so it's anyone's guess as to what McGregor actually paid for it. Insomnia Insane Statistic I uncovered while doing research for Max Holloway's fighter breakdown, UFC Stats does not credit the Hawaiian with a single knockdown in his second fight versus Alexander Volkanovsky. The Kamaru Usman vs. Gilbert Burns poster is pretty standard, but I can still dig it. A classic Tito Ortiz interview, Bryce Mitchell knows how to enjoy a workout. Dana promised an opponent fans would like for Nate Diaz's 2021 lightweight return, and I'm here for some speculation. Matt Riddle reacts to the USADA rule change, and knowing, Chipper, he might have been stoned as he tweeted. Slips, rips, and co-clips from the regional archives, UFC welterweight Max Griffin and UFC vet David Mitchell once went to war for the title of King of Sacramento. Both men had a lot of local momentum heading into this one. Buaka being slick as hell, be careful doing weird sh asterisk t on the mats, you just may hurt yourself. Random land a bit of rather old school art. Midnight Music, I was unable to track down a ton of info on Bold Soul Sister, Bold Soul Brother, by late 60s, early 70s soul group The Black and White Affair, but the track rips and popped up on my Discovery Weekly, Sleep Well Maniacs. More martial arts madness is always on the way. Punch the like button and kick the subscription bell.